crazy. The world. Hey, I'm trying to think of my, uh, okay, I'm a sophomore in college. Yeah. My college guy. Hey, Matt, I'm thinking of recruiting this guy out of Harrisburg. (laughs) He's a pretty good player. He's 6'2". I'm just letting you know. (laughs) Dude, wow. But well, it's thing. because here's Dak the is thing. Here's the, other thing the era's it. coming to an end, Stoney. I'm telling you, that's all. We're talking about Kyle Shanahan, and you know, we're, you know what, all the power he has, and and you know, you you brought up the fact that, well, we haven't heard players complain about Kyle I, Shanahan, and gosh. so there's not. But it's not about the season blowing up. It's not about 15 guys saying, you know what, we hate Kyle Shanahan. You look at a guy like Mark Jackson. All right, Mark Jackson, did we hear a lot of complaining about Mark Jackson from players? Until it was over, huh? Until No, we didn't. But we know now that Mark Jackson alienated a bunch of the players, and I think we can clearly say it cost the Warriors from reaching their potential. Steve Kerr. I'm, I'll just use Steve Kerr. We know last year that Kaminga was not happy. At Kaminga, probably in his own way, was felt a little disrespected. We heard from uh, I forget who it was. Jason Dumas said actually, Poole had more of a problem with Kerr than with Draymond Green. Mm. All I'm getting at is it doesn't have to implode, but it. But if I'll tell you right now, if you're you're not going to win a Super Bowl, if that's if those are the kind of things well, going on. So I'm not I'm not saying they are going on, yeah. but what I'm saying is they could be the fact that no 49er has spoken out. That doesn't prove to me that well, everybody likes Kyle and everything's kumbaya. We don't know that. Because that Ayuk, and I know you're going to say, well, Goo, Ayuk had no leverage or he was a nobody. He was unproven. And you are right. But that had all the ingredients to go left. It didn't. And now look at Brandon Ayuk. And I just say that for anybody driving around or listening, standing on the Odyssey app saying, you know, Exhibit B right there where Kyle was able to, you know, get his message across to a youngster and it benefit both and the team. For all we know, Bosa's pissed at uh, Shanahan for what is going not on, giving him, man. not dealing with the quarterback money, whatever. I mean, I the, just, I'm not, can, who was the guy who, uh, oh, shoot, who was playing out of position? Who's playing out of position last year? Jimmy Ward. Year? Jimmy Ward. Oh, yeah. Remember, he said it. Was he happy under playing under Kyle Shanahan? No. And it cost him bread. Oh, that's one guy. Jesse and Vallejo. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, man? Hey, how are you? Doing well. You guys are the best show on the network. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah. I know. I was calling, like, I'm a Denver Broncos fan. All right. Oh, God. And you think I wouldn't trade my left non-throwing arm for Kyle Shanahan. Absolutely. Even over Sean Payton? Absolutely. I believe that. Sean Payton, <laughs> Sean Payton has, he's had very little success other than one Super Bowl with Drew Brees. They, didn't, they weren't going to NFC championships every year. They went and they won it. Good for them. Drew Brees was an elite talent his entire career. So without that, he's done absolutely nothing. And we've been through all these other guys and we get nowhere. So I don't know exactly how good the talent evaluation and quarterback picking and all that stuff, but you, the Niners are in the mix every year. And like I'm with, I'm with you, Steiny, on the, that's all I want. I want to be in the mix every year because you know what? As a Denver Broncos fan, we're not in the mix. We haven't been in the mix for quite some time. So I'm yeah. on that. Yeah, and that, further, go ahead, no, go ahead, Jess. Go ahead. So go. furthermore, the other side of that, what I was going to say is the Trey Lance pick. With, like, Trey Lance versus Wiseman, the disastrous part for the Niners is the the trading up portion mm-hmm. of it. That's where you kind of miss out on what could have those other picks turned into. But it's the – they they would have ended up – if they didn't get Trey Lance, they would have kept Garoppolo. If they keep Garoppolo, maybe or maybe not they would have kept uh, – they would have gotten Purdy – Right. But it's the, the ripple effect of you don't know what's going to happen with what position and whatever. And they only got Trey Lance because Garoppolo was getting injured at the same, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can't judge, you, there's no scenario, it's, there's the ripple effect where yes. no scenario is ever going to be the same. That's fair. After you make trades, you stick with a guy, you do this thing. And at the end of the day, 
you end up with Brock Purdy, you're in the NFC Championship. That's why explosive offense. And you know what, Jess? Th- thanks for the call. That's why. That's why. To me, this is this is the big data point. This is kind of a fork in the road. They have been in the mix three out of four years. The goal is to be in the mix all the time to give yourself a chance to get to the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. You got to get to the playoffs before you win a Super Bowl, and you got to do it as frequently as possible as far as I'm concerned. So if right now that them being in the mix year in and year out begins to stop, then yes. Oh, my god! Then that trade is going to be the pivot point that's going to – Obviously, impact Kyle Shanahan's future. That's all we're saying. Like he's got to keep, he's got to keep this thing going, going. Oh, but stop. Plain and simple. Yeah. And, and if we were in the kitchen and we were at a stove, it's the, the pilot is all the way on high because of this. What you got to pay? You ain't got to pay for it now. It's in the file. But if Brock Purdy, hey, real quick, I'm reading uh, Jennifer Lee Chan yesterday, and she's. I know I'm the warrior of the show. She reports that Purdy did a, a different type of uh, arm throwing at practice. And I'm like, is that arm fatigue? What are we doing here? But I just say that it's nothing till it's something. But, Stani, could you imagine? Yes, I can. Oh, my of course God. I can. Like, sports. I read that tweet. Like, it's sports. It's sports. I can imagine everything. You know, Evan came in here, and like, this is where I, I'm, I'm kind of with you. <laughs> with his it's warrior like, hoodie. Everybody, everybody just thinks. I don't know. Like what? it's sports. <laughs> Brock Purdy could twist an ankle tomorrow, and the Niners could go seven and ten. I tell you that I'm that guy. Tomorrow's not promised. Well, in then, sports. if that happens, are you going to blame Kyle for not winning the Super Bowl? Turn the page. Ooh.